In this video, I will tell you if you should specialize in AI or in blockchain as a software developer. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Ido Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. So yes, I'm a blockchain guy, I'm biased, but you will see in this video, I will be fair, I will give AI its chance. So on the one hand, you got AI, so we have insane salaries, so for a top AI guy working for a top AI company, you can make up to $1 million per year. You have insane progress every week. There is a crazy new announcement, a new crazy product that is 10 times better than the product released the week before. And on the other hand, you have blockchain, crazy bull market, Bitcoin soon at $100,000. Everybody is euphoric. Crypto bros are back. VCs are back. Entrepreneurs are back, developers are back, YouTubers are back, even scammers are back. Everybody is back, ready to crush it in this new bull market. And we also have insane salaries in blockchain for the absolute top developers in crypto. It's also possible to make up to $1 million per year. So let's start with AI. What kind of opportunities you have? Well, first you have AI slash machine learning researcher. So as an AI researcher, your job is to develop new AI system and to create new algorithms so that we can train models. You need to be very good at math and you need to have a PhD. So when you hear about the crazy salaries in AI, we are talking of this kind of position. Then you have the model developers. So these are people who train new models. So they use the algorithm that are developed by the AI researcher to train models. So before you can use ChatGPT, model developers selected the data to use to train the model. They designed the architecture of how to train these models. So how many computers are needed and which software to use to do the training. And after they run the training to produce the model. So people who do this have a background in data science and also software development, especially backend development. But they are first and foremost data science people. It's less difficult than being an AI researcher. You quote unquote only need a master's degree in data science or a solid relevant work experience. Salaries are high. You can make up to $200,000 or $300,000 per year, even though it's not as high as for the top AI researchers. Then you have people who do model fine tuning. So they don't train new models. Instead, they modify existing models for specific use cases. For example, in ChatGPT, you can create a custom GPT, which is a more specialized version of ChatGPT. So in ChatGPT, there is a graphical interface to create a custom GPT and everybody can do it. But it's also possible to do fine tuning from scratch without any user interface. So you start from the data set of an existing model and then you will modify it with some machine learning framework. So let's say you use a model like Flux for image generation. If you want to customize the style of the images that are produced, you can fine tune it with some examples of images that you want. So you don't really need a background in data science to do this. Usually there are some existing frameworks that you can use. You just need to have some basic skills in software development, some basic understanding of AI, and that's it. For salaries, fine tuning is a sort of extra skill that can be required at some job, but it's not going to massively change your salary. So for example, if you are a backend developer and you know fine tuning, maybe that you can have a salary boost of 10, 20, 30%, but that's it. Then you have software developers who just use already trained models. So they basically use AI as end users. So for example, if you use Cursor AI or ChatGPT to help you code, you are in this category. Or if you use the API of ChatGPT or Claude, you would also be in this category. So for the really crazy salaries, you have to be an AI researcher, but becoming an AI researcher is a long-term plan. You need to have a PhD and for most people, it's not really an option. 
The next big opportunity is model development. It's a bit easier than AI research, but it's still quite involved. It's not just programming, but you really need some knowledge in data science. And data science is not as open to self-starters compared to programming. If you are a developer and you want to get into this, you will need to make a lot of efforts. It's not just like studying a new framework. So where is the demand? What kind of AI coders companies need? Most developers completely misunderstand this, so pay attention. When you think of the AI industry, the only pure AI companies that exist are hardcore companies that build AI infrastructure, like OpenAI who built ChatGPT. They build fundamental tools that lots of people will use and they need some really hardcore AI people. So it's just a few companies that hire a few technical people that they will pay very well. But most of the demand for AI skills is not there. Most of the demand comes from companies in other industries with specific use cases like finance, web development, or blockchain. These companies don't build AI infrastructure. They just use existing AI tools. They use AI tools either to build new features or to increase the productivity of their developers. But they don't operate at the same level as the deep AI infrastructure companies. So if you are like me and you are a developer who just want to keep up with AI and stay relevant, but you don't really want to go too deep in AI and math, just stay at the level of companies that just use AI tech, but don't create new AI tech. See AI as a tool that you can use to produce better software, but for specific use cases. So you don't have to choose between AI and blockchain. AI is something that will make you a better blockchain developer, either in terms of the features that you can build for your blockchain application by using some AI API, or for becoming a more productive blockchain developer, or both of them. And if you are already a software developer and you want to get into blockchain, contrary to deep AI stuff, it's not too difficult to learn blockchain development. For example, if you already know web development, well, you already know 90% of what is required for full stack blockchain development. So AI is great, but you still need to control its output. And to control its output, you need to understand what you do. And the best way to develop your skills is to practice and build lots of small projects. I'm building an entire platform for learning blockchain development by building small project, the 30 day academy. On the 30 day academy, each course has 30 challenges of increasing difficulty one challenge per day over 30 days. The platform just launched and for the launch event, you can get a special discount. To get the discount, follow the link down below. All right, that's it for this video. Bye.